क्वेश्चन नंबर टू एफ ऑफ एक्स इक्वल थ्री प्लस ट्वेल्व एक्स माइनस टू एक्स स्क्वायर फॉर ए एक्सप्रेस एफ ऑफ एक्स इन द फॉर्म ए माइनस बी इंटू एक्स प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी द होल स्क्वायर वेर ए बी सी आर इंटीजर्स दिस क्वेश्चन हैज थ्री मार्क्स सो वी आर गिवन अ क्वाड्रेटिक फंक्शन दे वॉन्ट यू टू राइट दिस फंक्शन इन दिस फॉर्म सो वी आर गोइंग टू अप्लाई कंप्लीटिंग द स्क्वायर So take this function minus two x square plus twelve x plus three. Write the function in the standard form. Then the coefficient of x square it can be any number. Take the number out. So if you take the number out from the first two terms, it will be x square minus six x. Put this plus three out. You must have learned the completing the square method clearly. Now minus two times x square. Minus six x. Take half of the coefficient of x, which is three. So put plus three square minus three square. Close the bracket. Now these three terms you can write it as x minus three whole square. And then this is minus nine. You multiply by minus two, which will become eighteen plus three. Eighteen plus three is twenty one. You can put this number a is twenty one here. Minus two into x minus three whole square. That's it. When you compare these two, your a is twenty one, b is minus. Leave this minus sign. B is two. Your c is plus c. Here you have minus three, so c is minus three. That's it. But in your textbook, there is a formula given for completing the square. You can apply the formula. So the formula is. A into x plus b upon two a whole square plus c into b square upon four a. That's the formula. If you don't want to apply this completing the square method, just plug in the value of a b a b c in here. Your a is the coefficient of x into x plus b is twelve. Twelve upon two times a. A is minus two. Plus c is the constant term three minus b square upon four a, and simplify this, so it will become minus two times x plus into minus minus twelve upon four is three, so it should be whole square. Plus three minus it will become minus into minus plus twelve square. By four twos are eight. So when you divide, it will be one. Divide into four sixty four eighteen eighteen plus three twenty one. You got twenty one minus two into x minus three whole square, which is same as this. So up to you which method you want to use. You can use the completing the square method step by step, or you can use the formula from your textbook and plug in the values of a, b, c. It will give you this form. But when you write, you need to be very careful. Don't put c is positive three. That's wrong, because here you have x plus of minus three, so c is minus three. If you have minus c here, x minus c whole square, x minus three whole square, your c is positive three now. So you need to be very careful when you compare them. Part B. The curve with the equation f of x minus seven crosses x-axis at point P and Q, and crosses the y-axis at point R. Find the area of the triangle PQR, giving you answer in the form m square root of n, where m and n are integers. This question has four marks. Okay, in part B, the new curve f of x minus seven. We know f of x is this, so f of x minus seven will be this actual function. 2x square plus 12x plus 3 minus 7 f of x minus 7. Or if you can simplify 3 minus 7, you can write it as minus 4. That's the new function f of x minus 7. This function crosses x-axis at P and Q, y-axis at R. If a function crosses y-axis at R, your x-coordinate will be zero. So replace x by zero here. So your y will be zero zero minus four. So your point R is 
0 comma minus 4 we got one point now when a, when a line or uh, when a curve crosses x axis at a point you need to replace y by 0 the y coordinate will be 0 or in other words this is y take this as 0 or in other words you need to solve this equation solve this equation for x so you divide everything by minus 2 x square minus 6x plus 2 is 0 solve this you will get 2x values so I'm going to apply the formula method x is minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a so this will be 6 plus r minus square root of 36 minus 8 so 20 square root of 36 minus 8 36 minus 8 is 28 divided by 2 you can write it as 6 plus r minus square root of 7 fourths or 28 so that we can take square root of 4 separately here it is 2 so your answer will be 6 plus r minus 2 square root of 7 divided by 2 because square root of 4 is 2 take 2 as a common factor and cancel out you will have 3 plus r minus square root of 7 that's it there are two values 3 plus square root of 7 so maybe point p we take it as 0 comma uh, x coordinate is 3 plus square root of 7 comma 0 q is 3 minus square root of 7 comma 0 do not change the value to decimals because we are going to find the area of a triangle pqr maybe when you find the area the square root or the number can be cancelled out so that's the reason I don't want to change it to decimal. Keep it, uh, keep it in the third form. Now we have three points P, Q, R. So we need to find the, the area of triangle P, Q, R. What I'm going to do, I'm going to plot the points on X, Y diagram. X, Y plane. 3 plus root of 7, 3 minus. This is a smaller number. Maybe take it as a here. That's Q and our p is somewhere here this is 3 plus root of 7 comma 0 3 minus root of 7 comma 0 and your r is 0 comma 4 0 comma minus 4 1 2 3 minus 4 let's say here 0 comma minus 4 we need to find the area of this triangle area of this triangle area of this triangle i'm gonna write the point above here so a we need to find this area of this triangle maybe take this the length qp as base and the height is the perpendicular line drawn from the third vertex to the base so we know this is we know this is four units don't put it as minus four we are talking about length here so 4 units and the base here is the total length minus this length that means 3 plus root of 7 3 plus square root of 7 minus this little length 3 minus square root of 7 so your 3 will be cancelled you will have 2 square root of 7 that's the length for QP you can use the distance formula also you will get the same thing you have base and the height so the area of triangle PQR is half base times height. Half base times height. Here yeah, 2 can be cancelled. Our area is 4 square root of 7 square units. Do not change it to decimal again because if you read the question properly, they want you to write the area in this form. M square root of n where m and n are integers so our answer is 4 square root of 7 